All right, we got the UFC show to talk about here tonight. The main event, Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier ended up going one round and ended via doctor stoppage when McGregor broke his leg, snapped his tibia. Is that what it was? Yep, snapped his tibia, and he went down. And actually, this happened like probably 15 seconds before the end of the round, and Nobody knew at the time. It wasn't like Anderson Silva where he threw the kick and like his foot just kept going and wrapped around the dude's leg. I mean, he just well, he, he, he went felt, down and Poirier yeah. jumped on him he and Poirier pounding. is pounding on him and Connor is like, you know, he's not going to quit and they went the full round and it's the moment the round ends, Connor McGregor starts pointing to his foot. He says, my, he says, my ankle's broken. Everybody heads out there, and they look at his foot and everything like that, and it's clearly ruined. And uh, so they, they rule that the fight is over, and he's over there screaming, make sure it's Dr. Stoppage! He wants everyone to know he didn't quit. Well, well he quit or, 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 or knocked out because he's been his big thing all week was that the only thing that counts is if you're knocked out. So it's like, it's like he's... All of his decision losses, he was disavowing that they don't count. But the knockouts are real. You know, that was his warped a way of trying to build this fight. And, well, warped whatever. It's just his way of trying to build the fight was that it's it, the only thing that counts are the knockouts. Um, and if it was a knockout, then he would lose. But if it's a doctor stoppage in his mind, it's like it doesn't count against his knockout record. Well, the story of the fight is that he was losing this fight, and he did get a guillotine at one he, point he, he early got, in the got, round. He he got some he got some leg he he came out in the first minute or two, and I think he was doing pretty well with the leg kicks. They were trading leg kicks. Dustin said, and McGregor, you know, said this was not true, but Dustin said that he heard a pop when he. Um, you know, he checked one of uh, Connor's <laughs> leg kicks early. It was actually funny because he said that it was it was broken on a when he checked a kick, and then Connor afterwards is so defiant that he is insisting that he checked zero kicks during the fight to prove that there is no way that he could have had his leg broken while checking a kick. And yeah. he's he's just furious afterwards. And Connor was a freaking mess. I mean, he's been he was all week though. I mean, like I would watch the uh, I watched the what was it the um, the thing on. Um, the press conference, and he was gone. It's like, you know, the press conference with Conor McGregor used to be one of the greatest things in the world, and he just, he had nothing left. I mean, he's just, it's it's the most childish. I mean, he he's probably been a lot like that since, like the Floyd one was pretty bad, too. Um, you know, his buildup and everything like that, like you expect, like early on, I mean, he was, you know, one of the greatest self-promoters, and that's what made him a star that there's ever been. I mean, I mean, even... You could even argue the best when it comes to um, charisma, charisma and all that stuff, talking and everything. But he just lost. In the Floyd thing, it's just, you bitch, you bitch, you bitch. You know, it's like, that's really creative. And in this one, it's just like, his big thing was like uh, trying to do Dustin like, your wife's in my DMs and, you know. It, and and Dustin was not happy with this. It's like Dustin's like you know I know anything everything goes when it comes to building a fight. But Connor said like you know he wanted him dead and you know talking about his wife and calling his wife a hoe and it's just kind of like you know that's so bad bringing the wife into it. I thought I thought it was it's I don't know. I just well, he's very much defined after the fight and he's screaming that he didn't lose and he's screaming about the DMs and everything like that and it was it was abundantly clear. You but he just he just wants another fight. And yeah, yeah. Dana and Dan, did say Dan, Dan afterwards is, there's likely gonna be a fourth fight after he gets Well he's gotta recover, him, obviously. It's gonna take him a while and then he's gonna have to decide if he wants to fight again because he's not look, he ain't the fighter that he was at all. You know, I mean he was he was getting before that, I mean he had his moments, but he was getting smashed. Um he when he got when he went for the guillotine, which was a really bad idea, because Dustin's wasn't going to fall for that. And then Dustin, you know, he, Dustin escapes the guillotine. He's on top. And Dustin's just smashing him with punches and elbows almost the entire round. Um, I mean, it was a 10-8 round, you know, that, you know, and, and, and Connor's best round is usually round one. I mean, it wasn't, you know, you never know, but it probably wasn't getting better. Because, like, when that round was ending... Before he broke his leg, I was like, in my mind, it's like he's going in round two almost for sure. Um, you know, Dustin's just a better fighter. And, you know, um, but yeah, Connor's going to try to get the fight again. Um, I, Dustin will probably fight Charles Oliveira next and then win or lose. 
Um, I'm sure they'll put Connor in there. So Connor can get, you know, if if um, if Dustin Poirier beats Charles Oliveira and Connor recovers, he's he's going to get a, he's going to get a title shot. I mean, that's whatever. I mean, it's like the money talks and and look, it's I'm sure that this show did giant business. I'm sure it did. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.